I, I don't know if I can compare it. I, I, I didn't like our first period, at least the way we started. I thought we were sloppy. It might have been because of the uh, days off in between games. I thought they were playing fast and we weren't ready for the speed, at least our, our decision-making process and and moving the puck. We, you know, we were falling down and couldn't handle the puck and you know, turnovers. And some of it is the way that they play. I think we got better and obviously our goaltender uh, – uh, energize the the building in the in the third period uh, with 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 some of his saves. So that is a little reminiscent of of last season. Dubinsky, uh, Calvert, and, and Atkinson seem to really be clicking tonight with uh, Calvert back in the lineup. Is that something that that obviously you want to see that as a coach? But, but is that something that just keeps going for them? I, I hope it does, and you know they've had a history, and I think they've had some success playing together. Uh, you know they they were good early on. I think they had some speed and some energy. Um, you know, obviously uh, Cam scores a big goal on on the power play there to make it three nothing. Um, you know, Maddie I think at times you know getting the rust off. Uh, the speed of the game again was fast for for guys that hadn't missed any games. And Matty had missed a lot and had missed some time off and, you know, trying to get back to the speed and the timing of it. Um, you know, there were some times, again, he was, you could see him, it was fast, it was quick, and that's the way Carolina plays. Um, but they provided some good energy for us early on in the game. You talked about the Bob sparking things in the third period. How much of that quality did you see in Boone, Jenner, uh, Boone Jenner's game tonight? Uh, Boone did some good things. You know, Boone always plays with good energy and he, you know the way that he works, and I think the fans appreciate that and see that in him. You know he's he's physical. Uh, you know he does a lot of the, the the little things or the dirty things and finishing checks and getting hit to, to make plays. So he he does a lot of uh, a lot of good things and and obviously rewarded for a goal because some guys were were working hard to create the turnover. In your mind, is that as good as Bobrovsky has looked this year in, in terms of highlight real saves? Well, those were some of the saves that we I think we had grown accustomed to last year, you know, where he slides across with the pad or the glove and, you know, the five on three save coming across he made. And then there was another play, a, a point shot. And, uh, I think it was during the five on four, actually, that came to him and, and, and looked like he had the you know wide open net. And I think the player, whoever it was that shot it, I'm not sure who it was, but I think he he relaxed just for a little bit, tried to settle the puck down. That gave Bob enough time to just to get over. Obviously made a made a great save. Talk a little bit about Horton and, and his home debut. It's only his fourth game on the ice um, in in the games tonight, but the impact that he has playing with the other players is is he elevating their play? Do you think? Uh, I I I think Nathan's still trying to get accustomed to the speed of the game too, and I, I knew that this was going to come. This was going to happen. And it doesn't matter uh, when you miss it, whether it's at the start or the middle of the season. But when you're, you've missed that much time, uh, again, there's going to be a, a shot of adrenaline that's going to help you with your play and your energy out on the ice. But eventually, that comes down. And it's Nathan trying to get in at the speed of the game. And again, it was a fast game tonight, the way that Carolina plays, and the timing aspect of it too. And that's one thing I got to try to manage as a coach, and just making sure that I'm not overusing him and, and wearing him down too much. You know, we're playing three games in four nights tonight, and we need Nathan to to be at his best. So, you know, you might be sacrificing a little ice time here or there, just so you know he can he can manage and, and play at a high level or a higher level for the for these three games here. Are there certain types of wins that are easier to build on than others? And if so, is that is this win tonight? One of those ones in that category where it's rolls a little bit easier into the next game than maybe some others. I, I believe the hard ones are the are the ones that that can bring a team. And uh, you know we we weren't pretty. We weren't you know I'm not I'm not going to say we were bad, but we weren't we weren't good the way that I think we can't play for 60 minutes. Uh, but that's what your goaltender's for too. And I, I mentioned it last year that our goaltender had games like this and he helped galvanize the team. And you know, we were going to have a, a, a tough plane ride up, getting ready for a good Winnipeg t team tomorrow. So we, what we need to do is take care of our own our own things, what goes on with us. And uh, now it's preparing for Winnipeg. 
How do you balance the fact that Bob's coming off a pretty serious groin injury with the desire to get some momentum here and, and get going? Can you play him three and four days, or do you feel you still need to ease back a bit? To we haven't made that decision yet as far as who's going to play tomorrow, but it is something that, that we've talked about and discussed. And just coming back from a groin and traveling and playing the night before and you know back-to-back -back or three games in four nights, this is where we have to make a smart decision. And again, we'll sit down and we'll talk about it. You kind of went to a five-on-three situation, and then all of a sudden your penalty killer had to had to really play well. What are what are some of your thoughts on that? Our goalie made a couple big saves. I, you know, uh, Mark Latessu and Dubinsky started it with Tutin, and we had a you know Mark right off the faceoff was able to shoot it down the ice. We had a couple uh, clears early on that five-on-three. Where, you know, sometimes you see when it's a minute plus, you see where you pretty much spend 45, 50 seconds in your own zone. But to me, I think we had cleared it two or three times, which, you know, when it gets shot down the ice, you're looking at probably taking off 10 to 15 seconds each time. So they didn't have a lot of, of zone time. Uh, and then when they did, you know, our goaltender was there.